Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of our channel. So let's start with a new learning session. So some of you might have no VRAM GPU like a GTX 3060. If so, then this video is going to be helpful for you. You probably know how hard it is to run when 2.2 smoothly. So once you go above 480p, it starts lagging or just fails. So I asked myself, is there any way to run when 2.2 on a low VRAM setup? And guess what? I found something that works. It's called the WEN 2.2 AIO model or WEN 2.2 I2V Rapid AIO Safe Tensors. This model file is just 22 GB and when I found that and when I found that out, I was honestly shocked. It's an all-in-one compressed model. You just load it in Comfy UI checkpoint loader and that's it. No need for two samplers, no, no need for clip node, no VA node. Just one file does it all. And here is the best part. It uses FP8 precision, so memory usage is much lower. It reminds me, I even saw a comment on Discord. One user said they ran it with just an 8GB GPU and 16GB RAM and it worked fine. That's crazy, right? This opens the door for a lot more people to try when 2.2, even if you don't have a high-end GPU. So on the Hugging Face page, you will see more than one model file. There is not just one, there are two base models. First is I2V, image to video, and second one is T2V, text to video. So let's talk about base versions. Both are base versions. But when you scroll down, you will also notice four folders. And those are v2, v3, v4 and v5 and inside each one you will find more model files. Now here is what's different between them. So let's talk about the first one, the base file. It works fine but nothing special. Basic motion, no extras. If I talk about v2 version, better motion, then the base, but it has a small issue. Color shifts at the beginning of the video. Then comes V3 version. This includes a 720p model file, same size. It's a mix of WAN 2.2 and Sky Reels. It gives better prompt matching, but still, it has a color shift at the start. Then comes V4 version. Motion is more dramatic, more stable and there is no color mess anymore. It's a lot big improvement. And then comes the last one. V5 version. Same as V4 but more balanced, smoother and more reliable. And there is one more thing to note. This one supports only I2V, image to video, no text to video in V5. So here a very important question arises. Which one should you use? So once you have chosen the version you want, go ahead and download the model file that fits your setup. So here you only need one file. Just download it and save it in your Comfy UI's models checkpoint folder. That's it. No need for any extra file. 
So this one file is enough to run the full workflow. Now, let's open ConfUI and load the workflow. So here you will notice the workflow is mostly default. The only change is the when image to video node. In the checkpoint node, just select the when 2.2 AIO model. There is one more file you will need. Clip version H safe tensors. Download that and place it inside your ConfUI's clip vision folder. So there are some settings I recommend and those are steps 4, CFG1, sampler, use SA solver or Euler A. Both work great. Scheduler set to beta, length 81, resolution 640 by 640 for low VRAM. So now, Let's test this workflow. I have uploaded an image of a cartoon boy holding axes in both hands. So here is the prompt I used. A cute cartoon snowy village holding an axe with both hands. He looks happy, warm light in the window. Boy starts smiling lifts the X high with one hand and begins running. Snow flies under his feet. So this prompt is pretty similar to the one we used in the last video. So let's check out how this model delivers it. So let's check the results. And finally we have got our results. And as you can see, it followed the prompt really well. The boy lifts the X with one hand. He smiles and looks happy. Snow flies under his feet. He begins to run. Everything, the motion was smooth and the quality was great. No distortion and the animation looked 100% correct. Then I tried something else. I used the same image, same settings and same prompt. But I tested with the FP16 version using both high noise and low noise models. So here the FP16 version followed the prompt a bit better. Especially the smile and running motion. But here is the thing. The AIO model is much faster and needs way less VRAM. And if I talk about the quality, almost the same. So now, moving on, let's try generating the video a few more times. So I wanted to see if we could improve the running motion, but I got the same result. Then I changed the sampler name to Euler. And again, I got the same result. Still no running motion. Then I simplified the prompt, made it shorter and clearer. But still, the character didn't run. Next, I switched to the V5 version of the AIO model. And the result? Same issue. And I also noticed a drop in quality. It looked slightly worse than before. So I went back and selected the base model instead. This time, I changed the length to 121. So let's see what happened. Now, I got the same animation, but the video was longer, about 5 seconds. No major improvement in motion, but longer and smoother playback. Then, I tested it 
at a higher resolution, 1024 by 1024. And this is where things got interesting. The model actually supports full HD resolution and it worked. But still, the character didn't run. So now, I wanted to really test the model's motion handling. And to do that, I uploaded an image of a car. I set the resolution to 720 by 480 and set the length to 81. So when I hit generate, the result honestly surprised me. The motion looked incredible, very close to what we see in the FP16 model. The car was moving, the rain looked natural, and everything just felt smooth and realistic. Then I asked, what if I want a 5 second video? So again, I changed the length to 121, but suddenly the motion looked off. It didn't feel right anymore. So I tried the V4 version of the model, this time at 121 frames. The motion became too much, almost over animated. Then I switched to V5 and after testing, I found that V5 works best at 81 lengths. So here is my final tip. If you want a 5 second video, just set the length to 81 and FPS to 16. It gives you a smoother motion and without losing quality. It works best across all versions. So now let's test the text to video workflow. Just go to the checkpoint node and select the VAN 2.2 AIO model, but this time use the T2V version. That's the text to video model. So here we already know the best settings, same case sampler, same step and CFG values. And here I gave it this prompt. Close up of a young woman smiling in the rain, raindrops on her face and eyelashes. And let's check the results. Finally, results are here and it looked really good. Great quality and clean render. But we still need to check the motion. So I tried a second prompt. Red haired woman with devil horns gently kissing a skull. So this one also came out great. The motion followed the prompt really well. It felt smooth and visually accurate. Then again, I give it a harder prompt to push the model. A white cat stands still. She lands a left hook, topples a gorilla in a blue suit, then spins and kicks another one. Both gorillas fall from different angles. The background is a shopping mall. And I tried to generate the result. And honestly, the result blew me away. The cat woman actually knocks down the gorilla in a blue and hits the second one from behind. All in a mall scene. Just like the prompt said, incredible motion even on low VRAM. So if you have been struggling to run VEN 2.2 because of GPU limits, this AIO model really solves the problem. It works on low VRAM and still gives high quality results for both image to video and text to video. So that's it for today's video. If this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.